talk about particle physics because we don't talk about particle physics enough and it's awesome. Well, a particle accelerator is a big, basically a big laboratory where we learn about objects on the tiniest, tiniest of scales and on the tiniest and tiniest of masses. And one of the big puzzles right now, not just in physics, but in all of science is what gives us mass, okay? You step on the scale in the morning and you know how much you weigh, and your weight in the morning is a product of how much gravity Earth has, which is a constant, and the amount of matter, of, of matter in you, or the amount of mass that you have. But interestingly enough, we don't really understand where mass comes from, what is causing it. A theory to explain this is, it was basically put forward by a gentleman with the last name of Higgs, and he basically said that there is a field that gives rise to what is known as mass, and that the interactions between particles essentially lend themselves, give each other mass. This is complicated stuff, don't get me wrong, but let me give you an analogy. Imagine you're at a Hollywood party, and the crowd is rather thick, and we're all spread out here, and then all of a sudden, imagine Justin Timberlake walk through. Well, you could imagine that everybody would crowd around him, and as he moved through that room, his mass in that area would increase in size. His mass would increase because there was more crowding around him, and he, or that particle, would determine the localized mass of that region. So essentially what the scientists are saying is that the particle that is associated with creating mass in a particular region is known as this Higgs boson particle. So there, we got to it, the Higgs boson particle. And this is what is making the news today. It's sort of, it's also called the God particle because it will essentially fill in the missing piece to our standard model of physics if we can find this thing. It's a huge, it's a huge missing piece. There's sort of a race right now between the different particle accelerators around the world and everybody is really gearing up though for the next big thing which is going to be a massive large hadron collider um, that is going to be built next summer which they think will most definitely be able to create the collisions at the energies required to see these elusive particles. So it's very exciting time for particle physics. It's very exciting time all around it seems. Um, it's also exciting here at the Science Center because it's summertime, we've got lots of stuff going on, there's lots of people here.